English nouns. Let's start with a task. Listen to me speak and see if you can match the different types of noun to the definitions. People are often taught that nouns are naming words, which is true, but there is more to nouns than that. Nouns identify or name things, people, places, and ideas and concepts. All languages have nouns. However, in the English language, nouns are either countable or uncountable. Countable nouns have a singular and plural form. English nouns are also categorised according to meaning. Proper nouns are the names of people, places and some things, and they always use capital letters. Common nouns name places and people and things in general. Concrete nouns are physical things, things you can see and touch. In contrast, abstract nouns can't be seen or touched. For example, conditions, ideas and qualities. Collective nouns Name groups of things. So how did you do? Number one, countable nouns matches E. They have a singular and plural form. Two, uncountable nouns matches B. They don't have a plural form. Three, common nouns matches F. They name things, places, and people in general. Four, proper nouns matches A. They always start with a capital letter. Five, concrete nouns matches G. They can be seen and touched. Six, abstract nouns matches D. They name things that can't be seen or touched. And seven, collective nouns matches C. They name groups of things. So nouns identify or name things, people, places and ideas and concepts. So we saw there that countable nouns have a singular and a plural form. Most countable nouns simply add s or es to the noun to make the plural form. For example, duck becomes ducks and song becomes songs. And we add es to box, so box becomes boxes. Some countable nouns have a different plural form. Here are some examples. Woman is a singular noun. It's spelt W-O-M-A-N and pronounced woman. I'm a woman. However, the plural is women, spelled W-O-M-E-N. Many of my friends are women. The next singular noun is child, and its plural form is children. The next singular noun is goose. This is an animal similar to a duck, but larger. The plural of goose is geese. The double O changes to a double E. Uncountable nouns don't usually have a plural form. For example, sugar. We would ask, would you like some sugar? Rather than, would you like some sugars? Even though if you look at sugar, it's made up of lots of individual bits. Sugar is an uncountable noun. Uncountable nouns 
are usually used with a singular verb. Another uncountable noun is air, like the air we breathe. And we say air is essential for life, not air are.